the large capacity touring bike market has seen an explosion of sales in the last few years. And while Indian already has a few bikes in that range, this is a new one. Now, the idea behind the Springfield is it can be a bagger with a screen in touring bike mode if you like, as you see it here, or you can take the screen and the panniers off and have a naked cruiser. Very versatile in that respect, and we're testing it here today for Cycle Talk. So why is it called the Springfield? Well, that's the name of the town where Indian was born back in 1901. That's where they used to build the original machines from the original factory. And that points to the classic nature of the, of the style, of the design of the machine. I mean, check out the guards. Very Indian in style and very all-encompassing. Whether you like that or not, well, that's up to you. I'm sure there'd be ways to customise it if you really like the bike and you don't like those sorts of things. The bike is aimed at taking sales away from other big heavy tourers that, that have that American style. And of course, the big one, the elephant in the room, is Harley's Road King. Now in general, the whole big heavy touring market is doing very, very well over the last few years, which I think is one of the reasons why Indians pursuing this line of thinking and making, making sure it's got good bikes in the market that, that suit the buyers of those machines. And they've done a very good job. This is a very, very nice bike to ride. The 111 Thunderstroke engine really does have a lovely thump to it. It doesn't vibrate too much, but you do know you're riding a very big, heavy motorcycle. Now the heavy is only an issue at low speed doing um, really below walking pace. Once your feet are up on the, uh, on the big floorboards, footboards, um, no problem at all. Very easy to manoeuvre around and throw U-turns and that sort of thing if you need to. Now interestingly, Indian doesn't run a heel and toe change. It's just a toe change. There's no heel there. But that means you can slide your foot up and down for comfort along those big, big boards. Interestingly on this bike, there's also footboards for the passenger that can be adjusted up and down for height, for comfort, to get them exactly right. So this is a machine built for two. And if these big panniers aren't big enough for two, well, you can get an optional top box, which can be fitted very easily without tools as well. So a very versatile motorcycle. The screen is sta as standard, I found to be a height which, which let uh, a lot of enough air over the top to cause a bit of buffeting in the top of my helmet but wasn't sort of uh, low enough that I could look over the top comfortably. Well, it turns out for me, there's a two inch lower screen, which I think would be awesome in the summertime in the warmer weather, and a two inch taller screen, which you'd look through all the time and would create a bubble behind the uh, screen of still air. So this machine is very, very uh, good on the open road. It handles a lot better than a lot of big heavy tourers. So we came up the Putty Road, which is a very famous road that leads up to the uh, wineries of the Hunter Valley in New South Wales from out of Sydney, and barely ever scraped the foot pair, footboards or, or did any, anything um, untoward that a lot of older tourers certainly had a reputation for. So you'll have a lot of fun getting to where you're going. I mean, obviously it's not an Indian scout or a sports bike or anything, but within its genre, it handles very well and actually has quite reasonable clearance. So is there anything about this I don't like? Well, I didn't like the standard, standard screen, but that's a personal thing that I think is based around your height and, and how you fit on the machine. Um, it does feel a little bit heavy off the side stand and things like that, but you knew that. It doesn't have things like a locking fuel cap, but these days, really, who cares? And, I mean, then it comes back to the style and the comfort. Um, and I think that if you like this style of machine, you'd be crazy not to go and get a test ride because you might find that what it offers is very, very interesting, a little bit different, and a lot of fun. Go to cycletalk.com.au to read the full test of the Indian Springfield. 
While you're there, check out our digital magazine with an apps for the iPad and iPhone and downloadable PDFs and online streaming. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube to find out the latest and greatest motorcycles tested by CycleTalk.